Hey guys, would you believe me if I tell you that this AI model is running completely on device and it's creating this Sudoku game code for me without using internet. Yes, this AI model is running on my device and I don't have internet connectivity on my device right now. So as you can see, Wi-Fi is off and my data is off too. And it is creating this code for me for a Sudoku game. So today I'm going to tell you how you can do this on your device completely free. So the first thing that you have to do is download this app called Google AI Edge Gallery. This app is not available on Google Play Store. You have to Google the APK and once you download that, then you have to sideload it on your smartphone. To help you, I'm going to leave a download link right in the description so you can download it safely on your device. So once you install this app on your phone, you will see this kind of interface it's really like it's almost nothing so there are three options ask image prompt lab and ai chat now all you have to do is now go to let's say ai chat so you will see these language models right here and what you have to do is just tap on one uh, tap on download and try it will directly take you to the hugging face login page so if you have an account you can just log in and it will start download the LLM model if not you can just sign up on hugging face it's free and once you log in to your account it will start downloading the model so once you have downloaded the language model all you have to do is go back select ask image prompt lab or AI chat so in ask image uh, you can give AI any image and it can process the image and tell you more about the image uh, identify the object or if you ask any other questions about the image it will answer you just that in prompts lab you can generate text you can rewrite text you can summarize text uh, you can just you can generate code as you can see there are multiple languages supported including c++ uh, python javascript swift and typescript and the last one is ai chat so you can basically chat with the ai you can enter any prompt and it will give you the answer so what i'm going to do is let's go to ask image tap on try it i'm going to give it a photo so what do you see in this image So as you can see, it identified the Android logo and it tell you a little bit about it like that it's green, it have rounded head, it have two circular eyes. And honestly, this is just a fraction of what this model can do. Let me show you one more example. So I'm going to select an image. So there are two uh, anime figurines in this image and I'm going to ask him about both of them, right? Let's see. So as you can see, it identified both of the characters and it identified correctly. And I think that is like really, really cool. This model is just like three gigs or something. And it can identify, it can identify character from anime, like literally on device no internet required again i'm going to show you because this is like this is so cool you can run ai models on your device so as you can see uh there's your all might and deku so basically it identified both of them so this is like really really cool i'm going to go to prompt lab i'm going to show you that you can generate code snippets too so i'm going to ask him this, uh, so I'm going to ask him to generate code. So I'm going to ask him to generate code for, uh, let's say, checker scheme. All right, and it's going to generate a code. See, it started generating the code and it's happening on device guys like I don't know how I should emphasize this but this all is happening on device 
See, they should token thing, they should decode speed, latency, everything. And this is all happening on device. Here you can rewrite uh, text or something. Here you can summarize text. There are a lot of options. This is the free form. So basically you can ask anything that you can like ask chat GPT or something. So let me ask it that. So yeah, I didn't give him the generation of uh, CPU that I'm using, but it gave me a couple of options. I don't know if this answer is updated to the latest release, but it actually tried doing thing. Like it actually tried to tell you that you can like use 3080 or 3000 plus to use GPU, or you can just use 3070 Ti, and it assumed that uh, we are using a core i7 11700k so basically uh, not updated but it can help you with things ai chat here you can try it and you can like ask anything like let's uh, ask him that so it's it's telling you like general things that you should go for sensor size you should uh, check out megapixels like like what kind of things you should consider before buying a phone for photography so that is that is really neat like if you need help with something you can do it on device when you're not connected to internet so that's it for today guys hope you like the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one